Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.9.6 and Polychop Simulations OH58D Kiowa Warrior Module. Welcome to Tutorial 5, L2 Mums. L2 Mums is one of the two data link systems installed on the Kiowa Warrior. Uh, this stands for Level 2 Manned Unmanned System. Uh, this is a system that can be accessed from the CPG seat here on the left, and it allows us to both transmit and receive video data and also coordinate data from both uh, Kiowas, but also uh, unmanned systems like drones. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I think in the future it may also be possible uh, to integrate with JTAX, uh, but that's something that's not available at present. Uh, this system is based on a, uh, basically a, a Windows NT laptop that's installed behind the seat of the CPG, uh, and we can basically do like a video source switch between the aircraft's own avionics and L2 mums by pressing the init button on the CPG side uh, display. So if I press init just now, we're now displaying L2 mums. If I press init again, I get back to the aircraft's own avionics, which are currently showing the MMS. If I go to the pilot side, uh, we don't have any access to L2 mums. Pressing init on this side does nothing. Uh, and that's because the, the L2 mums computer is directly wired into the left display as a video source. So there is no way for the pilot to access it. Uh, but you know, it's not the kind of thing that the pilot would access anyway, I would expect. So uh, first thing we do, we hit the init button and we're now displaying L2 mums. The first page that comes up is the receiver and transmitter page. Uh, this page selection at the bottom left allows us to cycle through three available pages in the L2 mum system. So we have receiver transmitter page. If I press it once, uh, we then get the, the video uh, feed from the UAV. Uh, well, in this case, it's a UAV. Uh, and if I press page again, we get the map display. Uh, and if I press it one more time, we're back to the receiver and transmitter page. Now, these pages are used to allow us to set up uh, on what channel we shall transmit, but also what channel we want to uh, listen in on. So we're currently on the receiver page. You can see that we have five channels, and these are associated with Kiowa, Kiowa, sorry, MMS uh, transmissions. And then we have a sixth channel down here, which is currently a Reaper drone. So uh, I can use the line up and line down buttons to move the highlight. And if I highlight the Reaper and press select, you'll see that it starts off at 0%, but then jumps up to 100% uh, signal reception. And that's us now ready to rumble with that. Uh, the other, most of the other buttons on this page are not implemented. So we have select, line up and line down. Uh, bit and encrypt are not implemented. Add, edit and delete are not implemented. Uh, the declutter is, and that simply removes the controls. Uh, and you can press it again to get them back. Transmit page allows us to flip between the receiver and transmitter pages. So yeah, the receiver page is to allow us to select which uh, channel we want to receive video and map information from. If I go to the transmit page, I can choose what channel I'm going to transmit on. By default, uh, you're you know, as as the number one, you're going to transmit on channel one that's been pre-programmed, but I could switch it to channel five if I wanted to. Uh, and by default, it's going to show a status of standby. I need to actually box transmit in order to actually start transmitting my video feed. So I'm now transmitting my MMS feed on channel five. Other members of my flight could tune this channel and they would then be able to see my feed. If I now hit page, you'll see that we now have the video feed from our selected Reaper drone. Uh, unfortunately, pause and capture buttons don't do anything at the current time. Uh, in the future, it'd be quite nice to have these working. I know uh, in the real world, the L2 Mums has the ability to capture screenshots, basically. Uh, and you can make a bunch of screenshots of everything that's on the screen, including the coordinates. Uh, so that could be quite useful. You can see right now, uh, the Reaper actually has a helicopter uh, in its sights. Unfortunately, for our purposes, that's not very useful because, of course, the target's location is changing all the time. I can hit lat long, though, to switch it to a lat long or UTM to get it back to UTM. We have the target's position, target's altitude, uh, and then we have relative information. You know, the target's currently 43 kilometers away from our drone at a heading of 309er, and then we have the date and time. That's especially useful once we get the, the screenshot capture capability. 
Uh, recording is not implemented. Overlay is implemented. We can actually cycle through different layers of overlay. Here we have absolutely everything. Uh, the, the bottom center is actually giving us uh, the UAV's own position. And then we have relative camera position information based on the way the drone's actually facing. So we can see we're angled down slightly and looking off over the right wing. Uh, and then recall target is also not implemented. If I page again, we now have the map display. And if I choose UAS location, it's going to center on the location of my drone. The zoom out and zoom in controls do work. Uh, and actually, so do the scale in and out controls. Decluttering simply removes the controls. And then I have the option of uh, slewing to the currently uh, defined target. And then I could zoom in a little bit. We can see the target that that uh, UAV is tracking. Uh, I can again switch back to my, my UAV's location. I can choose a UAV scroll or UAS scroll, and the map will actually move with uh, the currently selected vehicle. I can select my own position. Oh, I need to turn off the scroll first. I can go to my own position right now. And if I choose my own position again, while it's boxed, this view will scroll with me as I move. And that can be kind of handy so I can get a good a good feel for where I am in relation to uh, the aircraft that I'm getting the feed from, but also its target position. And then if I hit page again, I'm back to the receiver and transmitter page. And that's actually the entire system. If I wanted to go back to my own aircraft's avionics, I hit init again, and I'm straight back into my normal avionics. Uh, and then init again will bring me back here. So probably the thing that's most useful, uh, especially if it was looking at a ground target, would be the target information here. If I was in contact with the drone, uh, I could tell it to choose a target for us. It would then be looking at the selected target, and I could read off the coordinates here uh, and get the pilots to actually enter those for me, uh, if at all possible. Or I guess I could write them down and then manually go ahead and input those into the into the HSD system. I could go like nav setup and actually make some kind of a point in here, a new target, etc. So uh, that is how the system is used. And that's all the functionality we have currently. I don't know what Polychop's uh, plans are in the future to implement additional functionality, but hopefully we could get things like the capture, at least, and pausing the feed. Uh, either of those would be very, very useful, uh, allowing us to more easily read off target coordinates. Okay, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you'd like to further support me and the channel, you have the option of joining DeepHack's ground crew. For a small monthly fee, not much more than a cup of coffee, you can help me in creating this content. I really appreciate those of you who've already done so. There's a, a few small benefits if you do so. You get to join the DeepHacks Ground Crew Discord server, where we can all hang out and chat, uh, and also I occasionally do flights together. Uh, I've also started uploading some of the mission files as well. Uh, and of course, apart from that, you just know that you're helping me out. Uh, but otherwise, everybody should subscribe, like, and comment. And thank you all so very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.